Hello everyone, this is Sirius Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our Legendary Loot Pool campaign. This is episode 9. We pick it up from turn 45 in the summer season of 203. So, uh, jumping back in, uh, we left off uh, with the battle ahead of us with Yuan Shu and Yuan Shao here in the farmland of Chen. And we're going to get both of them uh, right from the beginning. We have our army here. We're going to do Yuan Shu first because he's outside. And then we'll do Yuan Shao next. Although they pieced out, I don't think they're any type of alliance. So I don't think they'll help each other. So that just means we're going to fight them separately. Uh, no big deal. He is administrator, so I guess we will go for the administrator traits or skills. Our daughter, I guess we'll get her patience. And oh, we can do these later. Let's just jump into the fight. Oh, Xu Shu is also nearby. Perfect. Okay, so let's see. We need to f fight them. Night battle. Okay, so we're just going to fight them. I think we're going to be trapped inside the farmland circle, so it might take some, you know financing moves with maybe popping Deltran out so that we can move again to hit uh, Xu Chu over there. We'll see if we can do that. Uh, let's just start this battle first. Alrighty, and it wouldn't be our campaign if it wasn't raining. <laughs> Every time we have a major fight, it rains on us. Alright, we're gonna pull these guys back. They're not gonna be the highlight. The highlight's gonna be Lu Bu running in. Uh, Di Ling, if he wants to have a fight, we'll be willing to give it to him. We'll protect the flank a little bit. I'm pretty sure if Li Bu gets busy up there, our line's going to get charged at. And that's okay. Um, I, I think we should have him nearby just to help out. Uh, yeah, Adam and Resolve is going to slow down our duels. And then he has... Uh, his is not going to help. We could use a Forge Master. Oh, Breath and Wind. So Tai Shi Tzu was working for him as well, but he died. Okay, so he died in your faction. Or maybe you killed him. Hmm. I don't know. We promised not to kill anyone, but we might make an exception for Yuan Shu. Especially with the items that he has. Alright, we'll just protect the front a little bit. Set up a fire. Set up one of these bit out here, just so that they can start shooting earlier. Any willing duelists? Nope. Okay, so you're going to have to go back... And you're going to charge up, taking out the cavalry first. Mm, Zi Ling should be a fanboy of Liu Bu, given that we shot an arrow and stopped him from starting a war. Oh, rivals. They have an internal, internal rivalry between these two. Yang Hong and uh, Zi Ling, which gives them a boost. Okay. Alright, when they try to swarm us, we freeze them, and then we chop up this cavalry group here. Okay, if we stop right there, we're going to try to whack the ground. He's shooting us with the... There we go. Try to throw a dagger at him. I doubt he will ever duel us. Yeah, keep shooting us with a bow and arrow. We'll throw a dagger at you. Oh, he's arcing his shot at us. He's not hitting. We're not. We're not using our dagger. Did we? Did we use it? Seems like we activated it, but we never really hit him. That's weird. Anyways, we'll pull out for a little bit. And uh. Alright, we have another... Oh, we never used it. It went on cooldown for some reason. Alright, let's see. There we go. Uh, We'll take it, but we'll take it far away. That's the deal. That way we can't get the admin resolve marked on him. Ah, we weren't able to pull out. That's fine. I guess we'll just have to fight our way out this way. Now, if all of them are willing to stand close to us, we could roar and just win. But we need to kill him. That one poison dagger is... Oh, that's a really fast duel. We should watch. It's about to be over. Like, right now. Ha! 
Oh, the axe man coming. Gaze. Slam. Oh, he wants to get on the horse. Now you want to get on the horse. Ah, that was a bad one. It's okay. Hold on, hold on. We don't need to charge. Oh, he's still shooting the, the bow and arrow at us. Ah, he's dead. Goodbye, my friend. You can die alone. There we go. Alright, now we hunt down some of their cavalry. Oh, he is angry at us. Let's see, he has a rivalry buff. That's gone, because his rival is gone. You don't heal from rival. You don't get angry from rival. Oh, Thorn. Okay. Let's see how you do against us when you're angry. Just like the Hulk would say, we're always angry. Okay. Uh... It's not the easiest duel, especially since he just activated his melee evasion. So we're going to just pull away. Let him run out a little melee evasion first. Only five more seconds. There we go. Now we just kill him, I think. <laughs> Good luck. He only has a defensive boost now. So, oh, no. Ooh, twice the damage. 25% melee evasion. Finish him. 53 attack rate. That's insane. He has what? 48? Okay. No one even got close to our formation. They're just watching. Right, he's doing pretty well. But I think it's about to be over now. He's lasting. Goodbye. Alright. Everyone's gonna play route. I we'll want the cavalry to come into us. Ooh, look at them. Breaking. Hope all hope is gone. Alright. Rapid Tiger Infantry. Rapid Tiger Infantry. Charge in. Don't let them leave. Slap. Now I'll actually go in here a little bit more, please. Charge this, charge this. Nah, there's no need. Alright, we're just gonna kill people until they rout. <laughs> they actually try to surround us. Okay. Roar. You kill this group off. Once they rout, I think we win. Ah, they bounce back. That just means more people to kill. Alright, don't leave. There we go. We'll keep the army on the field in case we need to bounce off of them again in this turn. Alright. So we took down Yuan Shu. Let's see if we caught any of them. Ji Ling, he's willing to work for us. We'll take him on. Uh, Yang Hong is not legendary and not unique. He's just gonna. We'll, we'll release him though, in case we want a future peace deal. We want the faction to like us, basically. We need to maintain momentum here. Ooh, okay. Price of ambition finished. Keeper of status quo. Replenishment bonus. Relationship with high empire factions. Trade influence. A little bit of gold. All right, here's where things get tricky. Okay, we we can move. That's good. Right? We can can we move? No, we can't. We're stuck with this fight. Um, what we can do is we have a lot of movement. So we fight and then we break siege. 
Uh, we break siege, then we leave the we leave the area. So now we have free range movement again, and we can take Xu Chu in the same turn because we want him off our list, and then we can bounce back into Yuan Shu again, and then bounce finally into Yuan Shao for you know the clean sweep here. Um, Zhou Tai is over here. He reappeared with a smaller army. I just hope he doesn't get destroyed by any of our garrisons. We want people to rush down there as quickly as possible. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, that sounds like a good plan. Let's just continue here. Alright, been waiting for this. So they think we'll lose to them. Now he's one tough guy. Um, but I don't think they have a shot. They have what? Zhai Ma Jian. Yeah, what's the unit that's really going to destroy us? I guess they just think we just have cavalry and siege, and they have a lot of shield and spear. Alright, for once it's not raining, but it doesn't really matter. Our units are here just to sightsee. We, we don't really depend on them. Although I do want Chen Gong to go with us this time, because Xu Chu is no joke, and uh, we shouldn't underestimate him at all. Yao Chan can send them back and look pretty. Although, we should really try to level her up just by putting her on the side, chase some, you know, routing troops, give her some experience. Because we still want deadly, uh, what's it, deadly, graceful beauty? Deadly beauty? Something like that. Uh, we'll get this here. He wants to duel. Let's go. Alright. We want to get into range and then pull him away. That way we keep Chen Gong relatively safe. So he has uh, just the damaging ability. Okay. Pull him back. Pull him back. So that one reduces us uh, melee evasion by 100%. So it's strong. Um, we don't have any ability that seals off the enemy ability. So he's going to be able to use it. So we'll take a big hit. And all his damage is armor piercing, if I remember correctly. Yep. Uh, but his attack rate's really slow, so we're probably going to be okay. We're probably just going to hit him real quick with Wisdom of the River, just to start. And then just, you know, whack him and kill him. They're starting to move up. Our units should be able to maybe get a few shot in this time. Alright, we'll just go here. I'm pretty sure... They'll start me somewhere over here. Alright, once we get him, we get 25% extra health. Not bouncing back yet. They're not in range of each other yet. So I guess it'll be over here, maybe. There we go. All right, knocked him off. We'll wait till we get off. Activate. There we go. Look at the health decrease right away. Ooh, it's a strong move. But it's over. There we go. Absolutely no dodge. Quick kill. It's not a fair fight, but who's here to fight fair? All right, they're here to get some experience. The is going to go maybe take on one of the girls. Yeah, we can take on both. They both just have tenacity of steel, which doesn't really do much. Uh, they already know the general's dead. Morale's already gone. We're also fighting all these on night battle, so they all take 15 morale hit, which I feel like should be nerfed. Because they nerf all the other morale gains, but the night battle morale decrease is still at the you know pre-patch 15. It's always been 15 since the beginning. Uh, I mean... Maybe night battle is supposed to be super scary. I mean, that makes sense. But if they don't want units to, uh, you know, have unfair or unbalanced morale situations like this, where, you know, general dies, they all rout. Ribu shows up with scare, they all rout. And we'll give the unit some experience. Hold on. We'll get her to chase that. As long as she doesn't bump into anything. I right, want to chase like that. Chen Gong should also chase because I know there's units here. Chen Gong should probably go here. Liu Bu will take care of the cavalry. 
Ooh. It's a light show here. Do they have any unbreakables? That way we can extend the battle. They don't have unbreakable. We can keep everyone standing still so that our range units can have some fun. Ah, they was interested in generals, not in these routing troops. Alright, go get that. Ooh, good hit. One more hit, they die. Oh no, she survived. Mm, just a horse bump this time. Alright, we're leaving so we don't hit ourselves. Oh, wow. Alright, she's gonna get that. You're gonna go here. We're gonna let her run away? Nope, she died. Go catch that. Alright, let's kill this general. We're fatigue immune. You're not going anywhere. There we go. Get that. Go protect Chengguo a little bit. Feels like those units are trying to get to them. Alright, now it's just clean up time. Uh, we'll let them get a few kills. Actually, maybe we want to keep the army on the field. Yeah, let's keep the army on the field. Alright, Su Chu is down. Let's see if we captured him. Yes, we did. He wants to work for us. Perfect. He didn't pick up any bad traits either from that fight. We'll take Xu Chu on. Uh, she doesn't have any items. We're just going to release. Although she is the administrator of Runan. So if we release her, we have to fight her at Runan. Which is a bit of an issue. Because I don't want to fight an extra army. So I guess we just execute. Alright. Maintain momentum. That's key. Alright, we unlocked both of these bruisers and brawlers, Dian Wei and Xu Chu, the two bodyguards of Cao Cao. Uh, Xu Chu give us 25% health, and the together they give us 1 plus 1 resiliency. Uh, apparently for the whole faction. So if we go to like a general who's level 2, he gets resiliency now. Uh, usually you get it first at level 4 if you're not a unique model. Uh, level 3, he has resiliency now. And if you are a unique character, you get an extra stack of resiliency. So Guo Jia would have 1 by being unique, one for being level 4, and now another one because we got it unlocked. So, hard to kill our characters. Um, now we're going to bounce right back into this army just to take it off the map, and then we'll go fight them inside the farmland. We could obviously delegate, but I really don't want to take any damage. So we'll cut this one out. There's no generals. Although we have some capture percentage here. Uh, see you guys at the end here. Alrighty. I made sure to give Delta and uh, Chenggong some kills so that they can get some experience. Uh, we don't really need to maintain momentum here because we're just fighting this. But we might try to keep going after this, so I think we'll do it. Alright, and then we're going to do the same trick where we get Del Chan to attack and Lu Bu will just assist. It won't be a night battle though, but then we have full movement to keep moving. Do we actually need to keep moving? I mean, what will happen if we keep moving is we could bounce back here and then bounce into this and then bounce back. But then we can leave this army for Dan Wei to fight. We need to go south. I feel like we just take it. We don't really need to cheat out any more movement. Alright, we'll take the night battle. Uh, there are some siege weapons. Um, 
not that it's going to change the game, you know, we are just going to sit back, Lupo is going to charge in, get his head, and then clean up all the units. Let's go. And of course, big battle equals rain. My god, it's like right on cue. Okay. We are like the rain god here. We'll still do fire. You know, it's prettier and all that. Oh, they have no girl deployment. Okay, so we're going to keep them hidden if we can. There we go. Perfect. Uh, Deltron can look pretty sitting with the boys. I don't need you. I can take care of Yanshaw myself. Uh, they do have some cavalry. We'll put it right here. We'll put it right here. Oh man, what an army. So many men. Now, Yuan Shao, would you want to duel us? I doubt he will want to duel us. Okay. He had it in a very nice formation. I don't know why the siege weapons are in the front and his spear units are in the back. I guess they know. He, even he knows that, you know, his top tier defender of Hobei has zero range block chance. Terrible in the front line. Alright. Oh, actually, I want to I want to snipe him first because he has wisdom and river, and I don't like that. They threw some trap at us. We throw some traps at him. We took some damage stepping on that, but guess what will happen? Recovery. He's about to tick down to zero. Tianfeng, goodbye. And they're still not going to do anything. They don't know how to approach us. Well, Tianfeng's retinue is immediately dropping in morale because their general just suddenly died. Uh, they will get, they'll bounce back from this because general recently died is a big deal. But after a while, it's fine. All right. If he doesn't want to fight, Zheng Jiang sends her regards. Yeah, range block chance is not going to help you here, buddy. Well, look at all these traps they throw at us. All right, Tribuchet is gone. We can't really just charge in here. They have, you know, all these anti-horse measures. He's ticked down to 11k. We have one more uh, dagger. We intend to fully use it. It won't kill him, but it will fully route him. Yeah, and then we'll go chase him down. Because these only does 10k, so he'll have 1k left. He should. Alright, we're going to use this as a break to get in. He's running. Alright, we don't actually want to kill him. We want to kill him. Alright, 1k health. Perfect. My friend, old man. Oh, we didn't... Oh, that was going to be so good if we actually got into him with a spear charge. Instead, we bumped his horse twice for 300 damage each. He's got... Oh, he got... They killed... They killed their own boss! They literally killed their own boss by throwing the traps on the ground. Oh. Yuan Shao never expected this. Alright, gaze. You guys all stand here as I smash you guys. Stop whacking, just smash. Does the same thing. Now there's no point to smash. You killed everyone around you. Alright, that's clean. They're facing the wrong way because we have them frozen in place. Elite units though. That charge only took down 10. And that swipe only... Oh, that only took down 1. Well, that took down 6. That took down 4. Oh, they're dying. They're dying fast. Not so elite now. They're fighting back. We're losing health. That's a strong unit. Alright. Cavalry first. I hope they would charge over there. Uh, maybe we should have put our units closer. Their siege weapons are really never going to be an issue. Ooh, they have a fire. Can they light it up for us? We can't light their fire. That's the problem. Oh, we can. Hold on. We can. So not only will their, you know, cow traps kill their leader, we'll burn their siege weapons and some of their cavalry as well. All right, we want to stand here. So all the spear units come by. And we'll play Gaze, make sure they stand in the flame. That would be nice. Oh, they're not that stupid. Oh, 
I, I said, maybe I spoke too soon. Maybe I spoke too soon. Hold on, hold on. Are they actually gonna walk in? No, they're not that dumb. I think the only way you can get them to stand there is they walk in already, and then you lit it up, and then you freeze them in place. That's the only chance. Or else they touch it, they get burned, they stop moving. Alright, no one moves. Slap. Uh, actually, let's go in here and slap. Uh, why did he, he charge out and slap? Okay, I do want to give my unit some experience. Where are they running? Alright, we'll run back to our troops. Do we want to move up? What do we want to do? Mm, it'll take them too long to actually... Well, they will actually come. Okay. We're going to cut till they get closer. I do want my siege weapons to pick up some experience. We still have two that's not level 10 yet. So, see you guys uh, at the end of the battle. The rest of this is just fanfare. We got the generals. That's what we really came here for. So, see you guys at the end. Alright, we got a nice hero victory out of that. And another name off our list. We caught him. Uh, we don't really need his sword. We scarred him. We're going to release him. And we're going to be taking... Hmm, we could also raise it. Raising it will allow us to keep moving. I'm thinking about it. That's actually pretty tempting. To raise the uh, farmland here. We'll let someone else rebuild it. I'm not really interested in it. Hmm. Alright, let's try it. Alright, we burned it down. That way we still have full movement. I want to get closer to here. We could also bounce off these armies, like I said earlier. But I don't want to go north right now. I want to get this Zhou Tai off our list as quickly as possible. So I feel like we just charge right down. And get closer to here to guarantee a fight next turn. Alright, and then we'll try to get to him as soon as possible. Um, let's get some of the building stuff. Uh, Lua Jun can come here to help food production. Yeah, we could use more food. I mean, he just has nothing to do. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Alright, we want corruption reduction here. Or do we? Yeah, I guess we do. Corruption is always going to be a huge issue for Liu faction just because it's plus 20% uh, extra. So we'll just go with that. A little less income is not going to hurt. We have another build order. Mm. In the long run, we want to get rid of the food. So I feel like now might be the time to do that. We'll get rid of this and we'll rush it. We'll still get 540 back. We have lots of cash because we've been fighting nonstop. And we'll use our second build to build this. All right, I'm happy with that. That's fine. That's fine. Let's build that. Okay, let's look at our new character. We got Ziling. Uh, mathematicians, he doesn't need this. We could give him a good weapon. Uh, blunt instrument, plus five charge. Not a very, like it's only for our own army, so he doesn't need to be in a leadership role. He's a good general. We can use him. Um, he brings an extra rapid tiger infantry, although I'm not interested in the unit. We'll give him this. Oh, we have a gray horse. Hold on. That could go to... Oh, they have better gray horses. John L can take it. And then the brown horse will give it to someone else. We'll do that. And then, most importantly, we got Xu Chu with his uh, giant's bane. Uh, great general. Super great general. Spear guards are great. We'll probably let him keep most of his retinue. Just switch these out a little bit. Maybe for the Emperor unit, Defender of Heaven. Big fan of us. Got a bodyguard, which is good for him. Some extra. That doesn't hurt. We'll get the horse that's on cooldown on him very soon. And then we'll have him out on the field. Tiger Fool is 10% damage from melee infantry. Alright, we don't really need that either. We'll get someone better eventually. 
Alright, so we saw the new characters. Alright, he's maxed out again. Yeah, just keep sinking. Can't do anything about this. Yeah, we're just becoming more and more of a threat. There's nothing we can really do. We just try our best, you know? Keep your dad alive, keep him happy, we'll extract you soon, marry you to our daughter. Now over here, do we still need you to keep an eye on him? Because I feel like he's pretty wiped. Alright, he's back at court. Zhang He, maybe we can get Zhang He to come out into an army. That's kind of what we want to see. If not, we're never going to be able to collect him. He's still young. Zhang He is a very young general. We don't have to worry too much about it. Anyone else willing to join us? Okay. Not anyone we really want. We just fought her. Hmm. Tall Tall's faction. Yeah, there's going to be a war in the future between us two. We might want to recruit someone to keep an eye on him. We do have the slots. We don't necessarily have the money, but we could definitely take a look. So we checked marked him, checked marked him, checked marked him. Checked marked him. That's it. He doesn't he didn't get any new generals. That's on our list. That's like, you know, traditionally what we associate with uh the Wei faction, but he didn't get any of them. Okay, if that's the case, we don't really care about him. Uh if he ends up attacking us, it's okay. It's very hard to spy on him. I believe it will cost us a lot of extra undercover network. 7 per turn, 25 per turn, that's good. So we'll keep it at that. Uh, we are trading, so we could try Empower Trade to see how much extra it will cost us here. 10, so plus 10 plus 2, that's that's manageable. Alright, he's also leading an army. Well, Tal Tal's actually very spread out. He went very deep out. He's actually fighting, Oh, he's going for Emperor Seat. That's what we should be doing, but we're not, so we're busy dealing with the central plains. Okay, we did all the building, we did all the spies. Uh, I don't think we can do very much with our court. They're on cooldown. We'll pop them into positions very soon. We'll get rid of her just because she's not, you know, a unique general. I mean, our daughter's not either, but she's our daughter. We'll forgive her, um, but we'll try to have feel mostly unique general. Luo Jun really should be unique. He, they made him so good. Like, he's so good. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, let's end turn and get on with this fight and find Zhou Tai very soon. Alright, Cao Cao and Gong Sun Zan signed a peace deal. Ooh, Zhang Yan declare war on Yuan Shu. Xu Gong is gone. Okay. Chu Jiu. Okay, uh, this is like um, this is like a soccer type of game, and uh, we we'll just get some extra stats here. Uh, spy promoted to administrator. Yuan Shao spy. Okay, so, okay, that's good. Good news for us. Um, the army left, not really coming down. We'll keep ambushing. We gotta defend this area. That's pretty much it. We get cry of the forest. Uh, this is also really good, but we want this first. Alright, we want to just attack this, I think. We can't get to him, even if we really want to. And there's no one to really bounce off of. Yeah, I guess we just take the city. Alright, we'll cut this out. Pretty quick fight. See you guys at the end. Alrighty. Now Runa, we're happy to take. And we don't need it to be a large city though. We can downgrade it once. Alright, they kept it pretty much the way we built it, which is great. Uh, we don't have the reform for that. Wait, which is strange. I thought we have a lot of red reform. But anyways, we want this to be upgraded. And administrator wouldn't hurt. Hmm, who do we want? 
We would like him, but... Hmm, we'll decide on a bit later. We could also get ourselves into a new mercenary contract. We've been kind of ignoring that for a little bit. Um, we could work with Sun Tzu, for example. See who he is actually fighting right now. Cao Cao? Hmm. We can do that a bit later, after we wrap up our fight with Yuan Shu. We can go this way. We can let Liu Bei take care of- Ooh, Liu Bei lost some land, I feel like. Korong beat him back somewhere. I thought he had more. Hmm. Okay. I don't know. I kind of feel like we need to take care of this mess before we go up. Our money is getting a lot better. That is true. So it could mean we could recruit another army. We need one army here at all time to defend the capital. And we probably need another army to be active on the map. The thing is, because we're headhunting, Lü Bu needs to be there for a lot of these fights. So it's not like we have the option to let other people do the fighting. Gong Sun Zan's come all the way down? Wow. Um, maybe we should move up over here to ambush. Don't really care about this army. We care about these armies, so... If we ambush, like, here... Oh! We ran to the... Oh, that's where the enemy army was. We bumped into them. Uh, are we in an ambush fight, or did we just bump... Oh, we just bumped into them. Okay. Then we just fight them. It's a failed ambush, then. Okay, then we just start battle. Alright, I think this is the first time we actually fought an army. Uh, fought with one of our army that's not Lü Bu included. Very interesting terrain. There's a giant mountain in the middle of our deployment zone. Or a hill. A piece of rock. Um, but I like the sloping nature of the map. We don't have any fire weapons on these, but we can keep it kind of, you know... A little bit elevated. These have fire. Have them right behind. And we can have these guys. They're here to really absorb enemy fire. Oh. Right, they're so they're so condensed. Alright, so we'll have them here. Gan Ning will go out first. These two will go out together. One will duel, one will not duel. Gan Ning is very good without dueling because of Hell of Arrows, so... We'll hide these guys kind of in the back. They'll charge up when the enemies get close. I feel like maybe we go circle. Alright, we get extra range block chance and it does like the same thing. We're just here to like take some arrow damage. I mean, the interior, like, if the arrow hits this side, we take damage, but... Eh, maybe just this for now. Okay, let's go. Uh, this hill is gonna suck a little bit, because I don't feel like our range, like, our trebuchets might be able to hit over it, but I don't know if our crossbows can actually hit the units coming up the hill. We just have to nail him on the hill. Oh, they're close. They're really close. Okay. What Tribuchet knows. Ooh, I see crossbow hits. Good. Ooh, ooh. Ran into the jackpot here. See, anyone wants to duel us? Shenpei, let's go. Oh my god, oh my god. Let's hit that unit. Come on. Taking too long, taking too long, taking too long. There we go. There we go. Alright, not as good as poison. Alright, we'll get our melee evasion up, and it's pretty much over. Uh, we, we're we not Lü Bu, gotta remember that. We'll leave him. He'll be fine by himself. We need to go back. Alright. 
protect our flank. Protect our flank. Protect our center. It's a slow fight. Ah, I'm not worried. Damn, we will be fine. All right, they're really patient with their looping. We gotta make sure we got them. All right, we're gonna charge out. Feels like the cavalry is fine. Yeah, they're not actually engaging us. All right, crossbows hitting the right ones. Hit that. All right, please just waste your cavalry on us. All right, charge him over there. All right, Dan Wei's about to win. Let's take a look. Finish it for us quickly so we can get to enjoy the rest of the fight because we need to micro over there. Oh, it's taking too long. Five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, we're going to go back to microing. Don't want to lose the fight. All right, move them out. No cavalry coming on this side. Charge. Hold. That's fine. They'll just hold. Gunning is... All right, we got the kill. Good on. Good for them. We need to roar into the crossbow because they're actually hitting our spear units. Good. Charge out. Keep charging. Find their cavalry. All right. Bounce back. Move out. Move out. Gunning needs to... Actually, he can just stay here and roar. We're on our horse. Charge out. Get the cavalry. Pick them up. Pick them up. Find someone. Engage something. Alright. They beat those guys back. Come over here. These guys will just let them sit here. If they're not going to engage us, we're not going to go for them. Alright. Get him. Get him. Alright, we're out of enemies. Alright, maybe go chase that. See, now they woke up. I will right, pull we'll pull it back. No need to overchase. Ah, uh, they lost. Okay, we're happy with this result. Let's just leave them on the field. Alrighty. Shen Pei captured. Uh, we're talking about Yuan Shao's faction. I'm not interested in recruiting him. I don't need the weapon. We'll just release him. We'll release both. Uh, I actually don't feel like we need this. We barely moved. Okay. He has a siege weapon, which is troublesome. Which means we actually do have to go up close to that area. We're going to fight him again to take him off the map. Wait, he can retreat? Oh, right. That was his first fight. So now we get the garrison. So now that should be an easy, easy... Uh, I still have medium casualties. All right, I'll fight this one cut it out. Because it really shouldn't be medium casualties here. All right, see you guys at the end. All righty. Now they're off the battlefield. And we took two casualties. Ooh, Xu Yu. Uh, he's a great character, but... I mean, historically, but in the game, he's... Haven't got his nice treatment yet, so we're just gonna release him. We're okay with just income. I don't actually want to get too much closer. As long as we're in the reinforcement range, I'm okay. We want to recruit and then ambush. Uh, we do have a lot more gold right now, so we can definitely recruit. And we 
compared before that uh, flying riders aren't as good as heavy Sealon Cavalry. But currently he's not high enough level to get heavy Sealon Cavalry. So we're actually going to get uh, some flying rider, I guess, in the beginning. Um, better armor right now at this point. Less charge. Uh, better morale. Uh, Damage-wise, it's slightly less. I mean, you get heavier armor piercing on the Sealon Cavalry, but you get more balanced damage over here. Uh, Speed-wise, it's less as well. Ooh, it's kind of, kind of don't want to use these now that I look at all the stats. I feel like the Sealon ones are just better. All right, you get better charge. Morale sucks a little bit, but I, I don't think it's that big of a difference. Um, we're going to replace them with heavy sea down ones later anyway, so I don't think it's a big deal which one we pick right now. Let's pick two of these and two of these just for flavor. Over here, we're really waiting for Onyx Dragons to be unlocked for us. Happy with four right now. Uh, siege weapons. We'll get some archers in here to mix things up. And while they're mustering, we're going to ambush them. We're going to run these guys up here as well. And also ambush them. So we have good generals in this fight that's coming up. Um, we're leaving the Jade Mine kind of undefended. I don't think they're strong. They reduced the army count here again. Zhou Tai is still on the field though. So that's good. We'll try to get him very soon. Got that building going. I think we're doing great. Hunan is having a hard time because we just captured it. And we're about to get a rebellion in Xiangyang. But we can turn these guys around quickly. It wouldn't be a big deal. Uh, we do have a second build now that we're over. We're still over a million population. Um, probably want to just upgrade. Are we missing a reform for this? Oh, no. We're missing the industrialist. Okay. So we actually might need a level 4 that's not corruption reducing, reducing to get the industrialist. But for this first... And we'll get rid of this and go for M building. And then we can probably get rid of this very soon as well. We can have this be built correctly very, very soon. So that's the good news. Um, all right. I feel like the army is all in a good place. Uh, they're doing well. He is administrator of what commandery? That's my question. Where is Tal Tal's? Well, Tal Tal's lost a lot of his ground here. He's either... Hmm. Chang'an? No. Oh, he doesn't have... Wait. He has land in the north? Not really. He made him... I'm so confused. What... Commandery does he own? He doesn't own Taiyuan. Maybe he doesn't own Xihe. Wait. Where, where is this territory that he owns? Oh, it's Yuan Shao's. I'm so silly. Okay, okay, Yuan Shao. Okay. So, Zhongshan. Okay. He's here. Okay, that makes perfect sense. Zhang He is on the field. Where is he? Where is he? Now that's Yan Liang. I hope he comes down. We need to stay in a war with uh, Yuan Shao until we see that army. He might summon him here even. That would be really good for us. Okay. Excited. Excited about that. Uh, keeping an eye on Cao Cao. Mm, I don't think there's anyone we want to steal. We just want to see if he has anyone on our list. Cao Cao is the only one that's undeployed. He's hiding. And everyone else is on the field. That's a very interesting strategy here by him. Anyone else willing to turn coat for us? Uh, not really. So we're good here. All right. Uh, we'll just continue. All right. So nothing really happened during that end turn. We're going to... I think we're going to be able to pick him off now. Yeah, he's in range. Perfect. We'll get, get Zhou Tai this turn. 
Uh, Gongsun Zan's army moved up, but didn't trigger our ambush, nor did they take our city. This army just ran off to the side. So we're probably going to wipe this army off. Yeah, not really going to care about them. We're going to use this army to kill them. It's a tough fight. Uh, not going to be super easy. This is a little concerning. This army that's sailing down. Liu Chong. Liu Min. Okay, so we're going to have to summon an army here. We do have our new generals. I'm glad they can work together. Mm, no strategist. And that's okay. We're going to flip this for that. These are level 1. All right, we'll do four of these. He's rank five, so he also can't get heavy Sealand Cavalry. We'll do two of these. We'll keep that guy. He has a shield. And also two of these. And they can muster up quickly to help us defend against this army here. Uh, we can... Uh, we don't. We just got summoned, so we can't do any stances. All right, so that's fine. That's all done. This fight we can do in the next episode. Not a big deal. We're gonna end our episode with this fight against Zhou Tai, just to pick up that check mark on our list. What's that leveled up? Uh, that's nice. That's a good ability, but we kind of want him to get composure first, and also wisdom of the river. So let's go this way first. Alright, in building. Let's keep it for now, it's free income. Charge. We can take both of them together just to get them off the map. 47% chance to capture Zhou uh, Tai. Does that increase if we night battle? Oh, the percentage just disappears, okay. Oh wait, it's just gone. Okay, then mm, I think I think the better the victory, the more likely we capture. So I think we still do night battle. We just want to isolate him. He's their chancellor. Okay, let's go. All right, we're gonna get everyone to stand back. This is Liu Bu's fight, we're fighting the. Pretty insane character, what they did to Zhou Tai. Very strong now, with that always constant healing. They have the programming wrong, so that he, when he delegates, uh, the system think his health, when he goes to zero, it bounces back, because he heals, so he, they feel like he's undying. That's why you had all the... Uh, you've seen videos of him like losing his head and still coming back to duel, because of the undying vow. Uh, basically, they need to program that when his health hits zero, the healing doesn't kick in again. Alright, does he want to duel? He doesn't. Poor taste. We're not going to throw daggers at him. We'll fight him. Does she have... Oh, she doesn't have... Um, Wisdom of the River. There's no reason to be scared. But we still want to kill her first. She locks our abilities and we want to use them. Yeah, no one dares to fight us. Jotai has Unbreakable? Okay, so he's never going to route. That's good. Well, if she's going to leave, we'll let her run. That way we can use our abilities. Let him, st let them stand still, get a few kills, and then we fight him. Warm up a little bit. There's actually an ability that will warm up if we stay in combat long enough. But it's hard to stay in combat constantly when we're on a horse. You see how it's like resetting? It's not ticking down all the way. Alright. Let's fight him. By fight, I mean we whack him and he doesn't fight back. Come on, fight back. He has very high melee evasion. 75%? Oh, that's armor. 
He lost all his melee evasion because of this. That's a lot of armor. Well, that's very high armor. I mean, we're at 80, but we're Lu Bu. Right? She's wearing basically a dress. My friend, just whack us. Make it a little interesting. What's the point of being unbreakable? If you're not willing to hit back. Look at your men coming back. Watch them die in front of you. Get angry. And then your man wants to run. But we won't let them. And we'll kill every single one as you watch. See? See, they're all dying. Come charge us. No? Fine. We'll charge you. Yeah, he's high armor. He's staying alive. There we go. Let's hope we capture him. I really do want Joe Tai. And moment of truth. We got him. Yes. Employ him. Do I care about her? No. Alright. We'll reset. Alright, we got Zhou Tai off the list. Uh, I don't really care about that army. They can stay on the field. We're going to head south, but we don't really need to move right now because we're ending our episode. Uh, so in summary, we did pretty well. We got Xu Chu and Zhou Tai to join us this turn. We also beat them on the battlefield. Uh, neither of them picked up any bad traits from our fight. And um, we beat back Yuan Shu and Yuan Shao. So we got them checked off as well. Uh, Undying Vow. Plus 10% armor for all shock cavalries. Uh, pretty happy about this development. We can probably pop him into this army here to help us defend the capital and maybe go south and have some fun with Liu Biao. He's uh, kind of annoying me. And if we look at our list real quick, uh, Sun Ce is still on the list, but he's very young. There's no rush. Uh, his sister is not even of age yet. His brother is. Um, Yan Bai Hu is still on the list. We need to move farther east in the central plains to find him and maybe he's down south he has a little bit of territory in the oh he's down south he's in uh Jianye area maybe Xingdu. uh we'll go find him eventually he's young you know as we said um this is the problem these guys are all over the place i think he's in Korong's faction he looks like he might be in yang feng's faction still in xihe zhang now is in our faction uh, we'll keep him for now. Zhang He is on the field now. So, judging by where the map points, he's probably in the army over here, which makes it a little bit difficult to fight him. Uh, but we have a good chance if he's on the field. Gong Sun Zan is all the way. He might not even be on the field. Who recruited him? Ooh, either Liu Yao or Sun Ce. Ma Teng's on the map. He we, we should be lying for him at this point. Um... Uh, also him. Yeah. I mean, obviously we're going to wipe out Yuan Shu first. That's our goal. Clean this up. And who owns this? Uh, Xu Gong's faction. Okay, we're going to clean that up as well. And if we look at diplomacy, they're all red. We're just going to you know, tear through this region. Yan Bai Hu has a faction has a territory here. And then we'll move our way up north. We'll trace some of these territories to Liu Bei to keep him happy. And if we can take down Kongrong ourselves, he can have the rest of the faction. And then we'll go north, uh, maybe wipe out this group. And then we'll go west, finally get our emperor seat. And then we'll go south. Uh, a lot of long journey, long journey to get our checklist, but it's going pretty well. I'm pretty happy. Uh, we're holding on to him. We should do it for the diplomatic relationship. Uh, Huang Gai is. He's close. He's in Sun Ce's army. We could backstab them. They're actually just like... Wait, where are they? They're, they're somewhere right here. Sun Ce has a army somewhere close by with Sun Ce and Huang Gai. Uh, but the sister is not of age yet, so we'll see. Uh, we're going to end our episode. Hope you guys enjoy this one, and see you all next time. Bye!